Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing video to show with you guys. Uh, this was sent to me by Bestek and and Bestekman, which is the name I, I think of like, it's just like another company under Bestek that makes maybe some less expensive knives. I've actually only checked out a few knives from them, so um, I'm interested to see what's in this box. Thank you so much to Bestek slash Bestekman for sending these in. I will link whatever I can right down in the description. If you guys want to check these knives out, if you're new to my channel and you didn't know, I usually link this stuff in the description. So all you got to do is open it up and check it out. It does help my channel when you use those links, but that's up to you. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay. Let's see what uh, old Bestekman uh, sent. Bestekman. <laughs> I mean, hey, listen. For, I mean, like I crack jokes, other people crack jokes. We won't forget them, right? We it's it's kind of hard to forget. We got some regular best decks here. So are they just best decks? Um, yeah, I think so. I, it doesn't. They don't appear to be best decks. They appear to or they don't appear to be best deckmans. They both appear to be. Bestex. Blind Fury! Alright, we gotta we gotta know what that looks like. How does that translate into a knife? Not the weirdest I mean honestly, not the weirdest named knife that I've ever heard of. Checking out initially the Blind Fury. Ooh, we got some spicy stuff here. We got the uh it's like the copper and marble carbon fiber together. Hmm. Okay. A little low profile flipper tab, titanium frame lock, milled clip, backspacer, a little bit of sauce on the backspacer there. Kind of cool actually. I like that. I'm trying to do more close ups. I, I started doing. Oh, is this uh, is this a? Oh, I gotta I gotta wait and see. I gotta know who the designer is. I recognize all the extra sauce. Yeah, I'm. Pr is that combo combo? His designs are a little bit more. I mean, you know, it, it's okay if you look at this and you're like, it's not really my cup of tea. But his designs tend to be a bit extra. <laughs> and I appreciate that. That is an aggressive Tanto. God. S future space Tanto. That is really intense. Um, the overall construction quality is very good. Very typical best deck. But we have the extra from who I assume is Kombu or combo. I always mess that up. Pretty sure that's the case. So that no part of this knife is boring in any way, shape, or form. That's actually really cool. So again, this one is called the Blind Fury. I'm going to guess that's probably, uh, it's probably about an eight inch knife. <clears throat> that's what it looks like. Overall length is actually a little more. Eight, it's approaching eight and a quarter. I would say a solid eight and an eighth. Blade length is exactly three and a half inches. And the cutting edge is about 3.45. Definitely cool. A lot more going on than what we typically see with, you know, a lot of the uh, knives in the same caliber. Um, the action and detent are fantastic. Always a big fan of how uh, he does his pivots and just like I said, the general, you know, busyness of the aesthetic. The aesthetic is going to be for some people and not for other people, right? This was obviously not designed to appeal to everyone, but I appreciate that there's more going on there than what we typically see uh, from this tier of knives. Where is my unboxing tool? That thing just disappeared. There it is. The unboxing tool. Okay. The other thing, which now I'm thinking is. Probably from the same designer. These, these might have actually come from Mr. Combo. So this is the VK Void. All right. So next up, VK Void. And is this the same? No, this must be. Okay. So this is a different designer then. Def, completely different. Okay. What is going on here? Get a good look at this thing all the way around. 
I do not recognize that at all. It's the back of a fox. There's a tiny little copper, is it like a little copper pin? This is LMAX frame lock. What is the purpose of the giant collar here? That is odd. I don't understand what's going on. Maybe there's something, I mean, I'm, I'm almost certain that there's something going on that I'm missing. So the action on this guy is noticeably smooth. The detent is really light if you're going to, it works. You just have to adjust a little bit. Let me check that again. Ah. We'll call it medium light, not light. It's still, right, <clears throat> it's still there. I think I just had some like weird leverage on it the first time that I tried to reverse flick it. Fine on the front flip, fine on the reverse flick, a little bit on the lighter side, definitely really smooth uh, for action. I am, usually when I see this, it makes me, this is like access to the internals when we're looking at an integral. But these are separate pieces, and this is definitely not an integral. I'm also confused by the little copper piece. I don't know if that's just an aesthetic thing or if there's something to it. I It doesn't seem like there's anything weird going on with the internals. We've got an internal stop pin and what looks like bearings. So, okay. We'll learn more about it, and you guys will get details in the full review. Uh, as far as this unboxing goes, this is definitely the more interesting of the two. If you've not checked out this gentleman's designs, as far as Bestec made knives go, they've been some of the more interesting ones uh, in the past. Um, so definitely check them out. I'll try and link his past designs down in the description. I think that's going to be pretty much it today, guys. You'll get full comprehensive uh, reviews of both of these knives a few weeks down the road from now. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day. All right, I got a little bonus content for those of you who stuck around. This card... It depends on what I'm throwing it at, right? So if I'm throwing it at a box, depending on <laughs> if the box is like flat or if it's kind of lumpy, if it's cardboard. See, you have no idea how much time I spend throwing this card <laughs> and trying to get it to stick. Or if it's just the mat, usually it does that. But sometimes, oh, I can't get it. Sometimes, Ah, boom! Sometimes you can get it to stick. So, I spend, uh, I would say, 20% of every upload trying to get it to, uh, to stick. So, I thought I might add this in, because I know a few people watch till the end. But if you've ever wondered, I wonder how much effort he puts into... <laughs> hit the camera. Into getting that card... I can't even do it. To get the cards to stick, it, it's a lot of effort. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a great day.